Let me thank once again my subscribers for posting this excellent question. I'll share the solution and I hope many of you will benefit. This question is based on absolute functions inequalities. We need to solve x square plus 4 greater than or equal to absolute value of 3x plus 2 minus 7x. So in the first step, let's just bring all the terms to one side, rewrite this particular equation. So we could write this as x square plus 4 minus absolute value of 3x plus 2 plus 7x greater than or equal to 0. Now, the second step should be, you need to rewrite the absolute function. That is kind of a rule. So whenever you are given absolute functions, always rewrite this. So we know absolute value of 3x plus 2 could be equal to either positive 3x plus 2 or negative of 3x plus 2, depending on where is this 0. Now this is 0 at minus 2 over 3. So when it is greater than or equal to minus 2 over 3, then it is going to be 0. So on the right side it is positive, so we keep it positive. On the left side of minus 2 over 3, it is negative, so we make it negative of negative to get a positive value. That's the whole idea, right? So once you do that, you're very clear that this inequality should be solved in two different intervals, right? So, so let's divide our page into two different intervals. Okay, so there we go. In one, we'll consider x less than minus 2 over 3, and in the other, x greater than or equal to minus 2 over 3. Now, 2 over 3... Uh, let's write a decimal equivalent of 2 over 3. So it is 2 divided by 3 in decimals is written as 0 0.666, correct? So, so you could write this as uh, x greater than or equal to minus 0 0.66 and here we have x less than minus 0 0.66, right? 6 recurring. So we'll work till two decimal places. So that is the accuracy we are going to go up to. Now, if we are looking into the domain where x is less than minus 2 over 3, that means absolute value could be replaced with its negative value. So I'll rewrite this function as x squared plus 4. And negative of negative will make it positive. So I'll write plus 3x plus 2 plus 7x greater than or equal to 0. Is that step clear? Since we are working for x less than minus 2 over 3, we are looking into this arm of absolute function, negative of 3x plus 2. Perfect. So that makes it positive. Negative and negative makes it positive. But when x is greater than or equal to minus 2 over 3, then it is the positive value. So the inequality becomes x squared plus just write it as such, minus, I mean, plus 4, minus 3x minus 2, plus 7x greater than or equal to 0. Is that clear? Now we need to simplify this expression. We get x squared, 3x plus 7x is 10x, 4 plus 2 is 6, greater than or equal to 0. And on this side, it is x squared, minus 3x plus 7x is plus 4x. And uh, plus 4 minus 2 is plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Now these quadratic equations, you could find 0. So the idea here is that we'll actually find the two roots of these equations. Okay. So what we are saying here is something like this. Uh, that is to say, consider this number line, right? So this is the point right in the center where x is minus 2 over 3. So here, x is minus 2 over 3. So if you're on the right side, we are working on that equation. Left side, we are working on this equation. 
Well, both are parabolas, okay? So if I find two zeros, I could kind of sketch my parabola here and know where is it positive. Is that okay? So let's find the roots. We'll use quadratic formula to find roots. Now, the quadratic formula you all remember is uh, we could write uh, x as equal to, let's use a different thing. So x equals to minus b, which is minus 10 plus minus square root of b square, which is 100 minus 4ac, 4 times 6 is 24, divided by 2a, which is 2. Is it okay? So that is what you get. So let's work to two decimal places. The square root term here is 100 minus 24, which is in decimals 8.72. So I could write this as minus 10 plus minus 8.72 over 2. Is it okay? So that gives me two roots. So if I take positive value of 8.72 minus 10 equals 2, and then we are dividing by 2, we get in decimals minus 0 0.64. So one value, which is a greater one, is minus 0 0.64. This is 66, right? So, so we have a value here, which is minus uh, 0.64, I'm writing. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so two values are x equals to <clears throat> minus 0 0.64. The other value will be more negative, so minus minus. So let's do uh, uh, minus, uh, so let's do, let's do this uh, minus 10 minus 8.72. And then we are going to divide it by 2. The answer here is minus 9.36 so minus 9.36 which will be more on the left side right so minus 9.36 we get these two points since the coefficient is positive i'll sketch the parabola like opening upwards right so we have limited space we are using a shortcut method when is it greater than zero that's what we need correct so greater than equal to will include this point everything on this side will include this point and up to that point perfect but this is not included since we are looking into less than minus 2 over 3 is that correct yes it is now let's work on the right side we get x equals to minus 4 plus minus square of that is b square 16 minus 4 ac 8 over 2a2, right? So let's calculate this value now. So square root of 16 minus 8 is square root of 8. Let's have square root of 8 value in decimals, round it to two decimal places. So we have minus 4 plus minus 2.83 divided by 8, correct? So that gives you two values. So 2.83 minus 4 divided by 2 in decimals is minus 0 0.5 I'm not sure 8 or 9 let me write 9 here the other value will be uh, minus 6.83 so let me write down minus 6.83 divided by 2 which is in decimals minus 3.4 uh, minus 3.41 is it okay yeah so the other value here is minus 3.41. Now, we are looking into minus 0 0.66. Do you see that part? Minus 0 0.66. So one value is definitely within our interval. The other one is not. So this value minus 0 0.59 is somewhere here, right? Uh, the other value is is minus 3 is kind of on this side perfect so so what we get solution of this part what we get here is uh, only that the parabola is kind of like this this is more negative okay since it is more negative it is not in our domain so 
So what we get here is that part. So any value which is more than minus 0 0.59 works for us. Do, do you get an idea, right? So including this point, since we are looking into greater than equal to, correct? We are looking into greater than equal to, right? But, but nothing below this. Perfect. So we kind of get our solution from here. What you can also do is test your solution by putting some value. Let's say zero is in our solution set. So if I write zero here for x, in that case I get here four, and the absolute value will be two. Four minus two is positive, which is greater than zero. It works, correct? So from here, we get our solution. Solution is, let me write down here our answer. From the left side, we get from minus infinity to minus 9.36, right? That interval. And on this side, we get, now since we are only looking into values from the right, so here we have only a small portion which is true, which is from, we'll write union. Let me push this page a bit, okay. Uh, so this portion is from minus 0 0.64 to minus 2 over 3, minus, you can write 6, 6. All right, so comma here, right? Union, anything after minus 0 0.56, right? So union from minus 0 0.59 or 6 to infinity. Correct? So for all these values, the given inequality is true. You get it, right? So on a number line, let me represent the solution here. On the number line, the solution will be like this. And then up to here. And then including this point to the right. And these points are... So we are taking approximated to two decimal places, minus uh, 0 0.59 or 6. Now here what we have is from minus 2 over 3, and this is minus 0 0.64. On this side, it is minus 9.36. So that becomes a solution set on a number line. So I hope the solution is clear to you. That is how you could solve this kind of equation. Feel free to post your suggestions. I highly appreciate all your questions and remarks. And if you share my videos and subscribe to them, that will be great. Thanks and all the best.